everyone. Welcome to this video where I'm going to explain uh, what is the equation, the standard equation for uh, total power in the amplitude modulation. Okay. As you are uh, aware that uh, in the standard equation of AM, that is double sideband full carrier, so we actually transmit three components, that is the one is the upper sideband, lower sideband and unmodulated carrier. Now, considering uh, but no, transmitting these signals, what is the amount of power required to transmit AM that we will discuss. Also, in the last part of this discussion, I will discuss uh, uh, power efficiency, the equation for power efficiency, how efficient the amplitude modulation is that we will understand in this video. Now, as you know that in the amplitude modulation, the equation the time domain is given by this equation. That is, it actually consists of uh, one unmodulated carrier upper sideband with amplitude equal to mu ac by 2, there is a lower sideband with amplitude equal to mu ac by 2. But these amplitudes are all peak amplitudes. These amplitudes are all peak amplitudes. Now, now we have to transmit all the three components here. That means the total power required to transmit a AM signal is nothing but it is the power required to transmit the unmodulated carrier. That is the first part. The power required to transmit the, the upper sideband. Okay, I will take it as P USB. And P LSB is actually nothing but it is the power required to transmit this lower sideband. So the sum of all the three powers is nothing but it is the total power. And as I told, this is these are the nothing but these are the peak powers. So we represent the power in the form of a RMS value. And the simple formula to calculate power is nothing but it is V square by R. Okay, or in terms of RMS, it is V R by R. Okay, and how this V uh, RMS voltage and the peak voltages are related. Okay, the peak, volt, uh, peak voltage divided by root 2 whole square will give you uh, the VRMS square. Okay, or VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. That's what we know, right? So, I use that standard formula here, the standard method here, Vm by root 2 whole square by R. Okay, now we will start with the PC, then we will go to PUSB and PLSB and represent uh, these powers in terms of RMS equivalents. Fine. So, uh, if I go to the first part of this uh, equation, the amplitude of uh, the unmodulated carrier is AC. So, that is AC by root 2 whole square by R is the power required to transmit the carrier. That is AC square by 2R. Now, moving to the second part, that is upper sideband and lower sideband. The amplitude is given by mu AC by 2, correct? So, mu AC by 2 divided by root 2 whole square by R is the power in terms of RMS value. So, it is mu square AC square by 8R. That's what I'll get. Since uh, the amplitude domain is the same for LSB also, the power required to transmit this uh, uh, LSB is same. Okay. That is mu square AC square by 8R. So, as you know, the total power is sentiment. It is the sum of the power required to transmit unmodulated carrier, upper sideband and a lower sideband. Correct. So, this can be written as, this is 2 times here it is. So, it is AC square by 2R as it is. Then mu square AC square by 4R. That's what I have written. It is 2 times this particular term. So, I will take a AC square by 2R outside. In that case, I will get a 1 plus mu square by 2. Here, we left with only mu square by 2. Fine. So, if this AC square by 2R is such a but it is the carrier power which we got earlier in the previous slide. So, just look at this. Yeah. So, AC square by 2R is nothing but it is PC. So, what I will do is I will replace this entire term by PC multiplied by 1 plus mu square by 2. So, this is nothing but this is the standard equation or the equation for total power in case of amplitude modulation which is given by PC into 1 plus mu square by 2. Okay. Now, if I consider that mu value, the highest value is uh, 1, right? So, if I substitute that value equal to 1, in that case, the total power is actually given by what? I get a 3 by 2 times PC or 1.5 times PC. The total power is 1.5 times PC. Or if I take a PC, uh, if I interchange the, no, the parameters there, that is PC is nothing but it is 2 by 3 times PT. Okay. That is what exactly it indicates is the unmodulated carrier, okay, which does not, does not represent any, uh, you know, the modulation or conveying of information actually, the power required to transmit that unmodulated carrier is nothing but it is two-third of the total power. Only the remaining one-third is the power required to transmit the sidebands. Okay, so practically we can say in the double sideband uh, full carrier method, this much of power is of no use. It's a waste. Generating such a power, a huge power is a waste, right? So we will discuss about that. Now, we will see what is the power required to transmit double sideband suppressed carrier signal. That is by suppressing a carrier, as I told, the power required to transmit that uh, carrier is of no use. What I, we can do normally is we can suppress the carrier and transmit only the two sidebands. And we get a, a type of modulation called double sideband suppressed carrier. So in that case, 
what is the power required to transmit such signals and how much power we can save that we will understand now. So starting with again this formula, I multiply, I got a PC into 1 plus mu square by 2, I multiply over here again, I get a PC plus PC mu square by 2, where this PC is the power required to transmit unmodulated carrier and this part is nothing but it is the total sideband power. It is the total sideband power. I am saying, I am saying total sideband power because I have a two sidebands in the equation which I need to transmit. Okay, so if I suppress this particular power, in that case, in the double sideband suppressed carrier, the power required to two sidebands uh, to transmit two sidebands is PC mu square by two. That's it. That's what I have represented over here. This particular term. Okay. Now, further, because two both the sidebands are having the same amplitude, that is mu uh, square AC by two. That means both are carrying the same information. So again, instead of transmitting two sidebands, it is better to transmit only single sideband. Okay, that is single sideband suppressed carrier method. That's what we see. We can suppress further one sideband, either a upper sideband or a lower sideband, and transmit only one sideband to convey my message to the receiver. So in that case, we get a system called or a method modulation method called SSB, single sideband transmission. So in that case, just a divide by two again for this term will give you the power required to transmit only the one sideband. That is PC mu square by four. Okay, with the mu equal to one. Okay, we are going to save around 66.66%. That is two-third of the total power is actually carrier power, right? Isn't it? So that two-third is something about it 66.66%. So that much of power we are going to save actually in the double sideband suppressed carrier by eliminating the carrier signal. Further, because one-third is something about it is the power required to transmit both the sidebands. That means one-sixth is the power required to transmit single sideband. So in that case, just add upon that one sixth portion, that means we actually get 83.33%. That is the power saved actually, here it is power saved, remember, 83.33% of the power is actually saved by transmitting the only one side band. Huge amount of saving in terms of power, right? That is the beauty or advantage of single side band transmission. But the problem is complexity. We need to eliminate the things, the complexity is going to be added. Uh, for your transmitter design, okay, that we need to care, take care. So, in a few applications like you know military communications and all, they go with a single sideband transmission. But in the normal radio broadcasting, they go with a double sideband full carrier method. Now, I'll go to the next topic that is power efficiency in case of amplitude modulation. Okay, what is power efficiency? Is it is nothing but it is the ratio of the sideband power. To the total power. Why it is sideband power to the total power? Because only the sidebands actually represents here the sideband power is the useful power out of the total power. The power required to transmit the carrier is of no use or waste. So efficiently transmitting the message is something but it is transmitting the two sidebands. So efficiency when you are calculating the power efficiency, in the efficiency in terms of power, it is power, power sideband P SB divided by PT. That is PC mu square by 2 divided by PC into 1 plus mu square by 2, which will give you PC into PC mu square by 2. So again, if I take that uh, PC, uh, if I take common, PC will be cancelled, I will get a mu square by 2 and all you just do this mathematics actually. So finally, we will get an equation here, mu square by 2 plus mu square. So this is the formula for calculating the efficiency, power efficiency in case of amplitude modulation. Now, we will solve few problems on uh, these formulas on power as well as the efficiency. Now, here, uh, just take this example, okay. The calculate the power in one of the sideband in SSB transmission or a modulation when the carrier power is given by around 124 watts and a modulation depth or percentage of modulation is 80%, okay. Now, these are the choices I have. You know the formula for calculating the uh, power, okay. So, the formula is this, okay. Modulation index given is 0.8. The power, carrier power is 124 watts. Power required to transmit a single sideband because they have given a single sideband here. It is PC mu square by 4. Just substitute over there these parameters. You will get the answer as 79.36 watts. That is, answer is C. Okay. One more problem. Just look at this. When the modulation percentage is 75%, an IM transmitter radiates 10 kilowatts of power. Okay. Now, how much of this is the carrier power? We need to calculate the, what is PC. They have given a PT, the total power, as well as the percentage of modulation. These are the options what we have, okay. Now, we have, if I go to the solution part of this, just look at this. PC is equal to PT divided by 1 plus mu square by 2. So, I substituted uh, PT, okay, that is 10 kilowatt. I substituted a mu here, okay, I will get a 
answer as 7.8 kilowatt again the answer is c one simple problem on uh, power efficiency what is the maximum power efficiency in case of am okay that's what we need to calculate the formula is mu square by 2 plus mu square maximum power efficiency we will get when the modulation index is maximum that is mu is equal to 1 so these are the options what i have mu equal to 1 is the best value okay substituting mu equal to 1 i can calculate what is the maximum power efficiency is just use uh, the formula okay i get a 1 by 3 that is 33 percent once again the answer is uh, c okay now what we discussed about uh, in this video is what is the equation for total power in case of double side band full carrier and what is the amount of power actually required when i transmit only two side band by suppressing the carrier that is double side band suppressed carrier we also discussed what is the power required to transmit the single side band that is suppressing one of the carrier and one of one carrier and one of the side band i might be upper side band or lower side band and power efficiency and we also discussed about few problems in this video uh, thank you for watching this video